All right, everybody, how's it going? It's yours truly. We're going to be talking about these smart brushes from Real Avid. Now, I have multiple cleaning kits already. I already have some generic brushes, and they're they're okay. They they do they get the job done. I have some picks already, but they're not plastic. Um, you know, uh, but but uh, given what I'm looking at here, when I go to clean my firearms or the firearms of a client, I think this is what I'm going to be reaching for. Uh, so let's just go ahead and start with the right. Um, so, and by the way, these are sold separately. This is 10 bucks, and I think this is uh, 10 to $15. Uh, so this right here on the right side, or my right, is a soup, or the, the smart brushes, eight super scrubber gun brushes with, integra with integrated uh, scrapers. The most effective gun uh, cleaning brushes ever designed. Well, that's quite a claim to make, but, you know, Real Avid does really great stuff. Now, despite the low-impact uh, packaging, if you turn them over, beautiful graphics, beautiful visuals on the back. Uh, they, they don't miss an opportunity to demonstrate how their products work, the features that are uh, built into the, these specific brushes. And this is wonderful. So again, uh, designed to clean different interior and exterior surfaces for unique brush shapes in nylon and uh, phosphor bronze for scrapers, tips, remove stubborn carbon and gunk. Easily clean firing pins, bolts and bolt faces, internal slide rail grooves, external grooves, uh, chamber pockets and corners, flash suppressors, semi-auto gas baffles, uh, under shotgun ribs, sight assemblies, inside receiver housings, trigger groups, and a lot more. And of course, right here below, they're demonstrating clearly uh, you know, how to use a brush. I I'm not going to demo these brushes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, tell you how I feel about them once I take them out of the packaging. And then once again, you know, clean clean the crap out of your firearms it's uh this is the 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 accu grip picks and brushes this is going to come in handy uh you know especially when you take out like like, like a bolt carrier grip of an ar-15 or whatever and uh, you and, and if you have stubborn carbon buildup or gunk into uh, you know uh, just really embedded into the, the, the your firearm or your 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 pe the moving pieces you can easily scrape them out um we're going to talk about the how these things feel in a minute so let's see uh narrow um phosphor bronze brush rigid uh, engineering uh resin grooves for better grip okay so they're gonna be <laughs> easier to grip apparently so let's just go ahead and take them out i feel almost guilty uh ripping this bag up just because all this stuff is really nice um let's go ahead and open this up all right do 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 do, do, do. Come on, are you going to come out, dude? Yes, you are. Oh, look at that. You don't even need the bat. Oh, never mind. I thought this was going to be the where, where the graphics were. I lied. All right, I'm going to go ahead and toss this to the side because we're pretty much done with this. I mean, you get what you get, man. They're just brushes, but let's go ahead and take a look and see how these things feel. Okay, yeah, so... Uh, they don't feel cheap. They don't feel flimsy. These feel really, really good. And um, what this isn't, uh, I, I, in my opinion, this doesn't feel like the traditional uh, wire brushes, the more heavier duty wire brush. Uh, that, like, like I can use this all throughout my like my most prized AR-15, and I'm not going to worry about uh, you know leaving marks or anything behind. Of course, you have a a, a less uh, what's it called, a less rigorous brush here, and uh, this feels great. This this feels really really good. Let's uh, let's take a look at these picks here. Yeah, so if you got to you know manipulate the picks in a certain way and and you know do all kinds of funky stuff with your hands to get into very very hard to reach places inside of whatever firearm you're working on, that's what these picks are for. Let's feel this out. This is pretty tough, man. This is really really tough. Um, you know, like the 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 my my current picks that I I generally use are they're not plastic like this, uh so I got to be extra careful. But I mean with this, uh like I I think I'm gonna have to reach for this when I'm going to clean, um my firearms or the firearms of a client, uh just because these are so well made and of course we have the the little real avid logo on on uh, one of the the faces of the of the handle, um. I would have liked to have seen uh, more texturization all throughout the, the the handle here, but I mean, honestly, I don't really have a problem. Nonetheless, I just it's just something I would have liked to have seen. Um, but it's easy to grip, you know, just because of the the shape here. 
all my fingers they they hold this uh quite well and um yeah these are wonderful picks man yeah they, these feel great uh you just don't want to apply too much pressure but this you don't want to apply too much pressure when you're trying to remove carbon buildup or gunk or, or whatever debris that is in your firearm but i also feel like this is going to be able to get the job done this isn't this doesn't feel flimsy at all this feels great i like these excuse me god damn i ate a lot earlier uh yeah so um yeah, no, these feel great. And you, again, you, you got all sorts of options. And then I think this is the hybrid one. Yeah, so you, you got a mixture of, uh, you know, the, the, the more medium strength brush. And then on the inside, you got the, the phosphor uh, bronze uh, material. And then, of course, you get like a thin brush here to, to get a little bit more uh, precision out of your, your scraping, whatever it is you're, you're scraping up. Wow. Uh, okay, uh, let's just go ahead and open these guys up and see how I feel. It's always satisfying cutting stuff and it goes really well <laughs> all right so i think uh real avid has a, a winner on their hands let's go ahead and toss that to the side wow okay and, and i think these scrapers are a little bit more rigorous let's just go ahead and pick one up yeah once again this feels this feels fantastic man this feels fantastic. Again, you have a very unusual shape, so it'll be easy to kind of maneuver around those very delicate, oddly shaped uh, pieces of whatever firearm that you're working on. Um, and, and, this, uh, and it's thick enough that, uh, that you're going to be able to, you know, uh, do quite a bit of work. I'm not going to lie. You're going to be able to do quite a bit of, uh, of, of crud removal with these uh, very unique picks. And once again, you got the, the real avid markings on here. Uh, let's see. Oh, smart brush, uh, real avid. Okay, fantastic. I can hear my dogs outside. I apologize if you can hear them. One of them is stubborn and doesn't like to eat. This looks like a little scalpel. This looks like a little scalpel. It's, you know, cutting up some. Um, but you know, obviously, this is fantastic for removing crud. Um, you got the little brushes here. They feel great. They feel fantastic. They don't feel cheap. Uh, let's let's uh, the more rigorous, the uh, the more the sturdier uh, brush. Let's see. Let's feel this out. Uh, this is a little bit, um, this feels a little bit tougher than, than this. I think it's just because they're shorter. That's probably, you know, why it feels that way. It probably isn't, but, um, you know, you, you get, uh, you get quite a bit of precision, uh, using these, these brushes here. Oh, okay. Here we go. What, what is this guy? Very, very cool. This, uh, this tip here is a little bit more pointed. Once again, real avid markings all over. Uh, yeah, this is a fantastic set. You can, I mean, this, you can store these anywhere. You know, th th this will go great in any, any, like, you know, tool bag or range bag, or it'll look really great in your shop. I like that it's it's uh, it's red. Um, I, I mentioned in other videos, I am hard at seeing, so I really like bright uh, colored tools, bright colored, you know, things. <laughs> you know, just so it's easier for me to pick up at the corner of my eye. So if I'm working on a, you know, on a, on a, on a firearm, maybe I need to remove some debris really quickly. And I see this in the corner of my eye, it's going to, you know, it's going to catch my eye. It's going to catch my attention really, uh, uh, you know, pretty quickly. So yeah, uh, this video has gone way too long for, for brushes, but yeah, um, I like these. These are the, the real avid brushes. I'm going to leave links in the description. And uh, of course, since this is a firearm related product, I can't link to it directly. Uh, people bitch at, uh, bitch at me about that all the time, guys. I I, I don't I, I I don't work for Google. I don't make the rules. I don't want to get banned. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna leave links in the description. I'm gonna have the the exact specific title um, or, or description for each of these products, so you know what to to look for. I'm gonna have a DuckDuckGo links, and then that'll get you there. That's gonna get you there, and um, yeah, just follow me on on social media and all that bullshit. I am on Gab, I am on Minds, I am on Bitshoot, I'm on Library and Odyssey. Uh, support the channel, all that jazz. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, a friendly comment in the description. Uh, I get a lot of hate, and you know what? It it, it hurts my feelings that uh, when I defend myself and I say really mean things to people, I feel bad, and I don't want to feel bad. Uh, bullying the, these random nerds who want to talk shit to me. So, uh, for, for the love of God, uh, leave some positivity in the comment section. I could really use it. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace out.